Easter is the principal feast of the ecclesiastical year, commemorating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It is also the oldest feast of the Christian church. The connection between the Jewish Passover and the Christian feast of Easter is real and ideal, as Christ's death and resurrection had its figures and types in the old law. Welcome to SD Kaysen Courses, and today's topic is Easter traditions, customs, and liturgical practices. The celebration of Easter involves various customs, traditions, and liturgical practices, such as the Easter office and mass, risus pascalis, Easter eggs, the Easter rabbit, the Easter fire, processions, and the blessing of food. These customs and traditions have evolved over time, with some having pagan origins that were later adopted by the church. Easter is the principal feast of the ecclesiastical year. It commemorates the slaying of the true Lamb of God and the resurrection of Christ, the cornerstone upon which faith is built. It is also the oldest feast of the Christian church, as old as Christianity. It is the connecting link between the Old and New Testaments. The date of the celebration of Easter has been contested in the Christian church for many centuries, but that topic will be covered in another lesson. But we can simplify the arguments here. In short, Easter was a continuation of the Jewish celebration of Passover, which happened on the 14th of Nisan. But Christians throughout the world used many different calendars and many different dates in the early centuries of the church. Bishops in Gaul celebrated Easter on March 25th. In Asia Minor, it was April 6th, and in Rome, the date was movable, similar to the Jewish practice. Over time, the church decided on a movable date for Easter, which would fall between March 22nd and April 25th. Liturgical practices during Easter include the following. 1. The Easter Vigil. This is a key liturgical event on Holy Saturday, marking the beginning of the Easter celebration. It includes the lighting of the Paschal candle, symbolizing the light of Christ entering the world, and the exalted, a hymn sung to praise God for the resurrection. The vigil also includes the baptism and confirmation of adult catechumens. 2. The Renewal of Baptismal Promises During the Easter liturgy, the congregation is invited to renew their baptismal promises, reaffirming their faith in Jesus Christ and the Church. This practice highlights the connection between Easter and baptism, as both represent new life in Christ. 3. The Paschal Triduum this is a three-day period leading up to Easter Sunday, encompassing Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday. The Triduum commemorates the events of Jesus' Passion, Death, and Resurrection, with special liturgies and prayers held on each day. 4. The Easter Season The celebration of Easter extends beyond Easter Sunday, with the liturgical season lasting until Pentecost. During this time, the Church continues to celebrate the resurrection of Christ and the gift of new life through various prayers, hymns, and liturgical events. In conclusion, Easter traditions, customs, and liturgical practices teach us the importance of celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. These customs serve as a reminder of the connection between the Old and New Testaments, as well as the unity of Christian communities worldwide. And that was Easter traditions, customs, and liturgical practices in a nutshell. Thanks for learning with us. Until next time, may God bless you forever and ever.